G'day fellas, my name is Mayhemstar and welcome to Rotten Paradise. Do not be misled, bad company corrupts good character. Puh, cough. I swear I had my alarm up, bloody hell, hope I'm not lost. This should have been where we're supposed to meet up, I wonder where. Hey. Huh. Vani. Well, look who it is. June, over here. What? She's here? No, 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 no. Wait, don't come here just yet. Why not? Eh? Here's the thing, I've spent my life in Australia. I never adopted the Australian accent for some weird reason. I grew up on American media, and I just never picked up the accent. Now then, pay up. Ugh. You guys already made a bet? He bet you'd be lost. The one time you came in early and it had to be today. Man, why couldn't you just come a little later? Hey, it's starting to sound like you just want me to leave. Wait, no no no, I, I didn't mean it like that. I'm just messing with you. Yeah, it's just that you're normally lazy and messy and forgetful, so... No offense. Oh no, I totally agree, I was surprised myself too. Don't even worry about it. Phew, thank god. I knew something was off of on to be that happy to see me anyway. Please, you should feel appreciated to have a friend who knows you so well. What? You knew I was going to be third? Not specifically third, but I assumed you would stay up all night since you barely get any sleep when something exciting is coming up. Then ended up passing out near the morning, and when you got up you panicked thinking you were late. You packed everything as fast as you could before stumbling out here. You can be quite fast when you're under pressure after all. Sound about right? What do you mean by yes and no? Do these lead to different outcomes? Yes. Oh wow, am I really easy to read? Not necessarily a bad thing. It means I packed all the things you probably missed. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. I mean, frankly as hell, but... Anytime. So there you guys are. Carmen. Hi hi, sorry I'm late. Kami. June bug. I swear Australians don't talk like this. I don't know. Ah, oh my god, wow, friends. How are they already so energetic in the morning? Tell me about it. Gosh, I didn't expect you to be already here. Me neither. Eek, this is so exciting. You guys hang out all the time. Why are you two more excited than the rest of us? And it's rare to have all five of us. Whenever Carmi and I meet up, it's us unemployed bonding over the pain of other friends having responsibilities when we're bored. Mm, it took you guys months to schedule this trip. We still have the right to be excited. Yeah, give him that right. Vaughn wants to take away our rights. Boo, what's wrong with you? I can't believe I'm being ganged up on by idiots. Excited idiots. Ryan, talking about idiots without me? Ryan, wow, yay, Ryan, yay. Told you he'd be lost. Oh really, I would have thought it'd be June. That's what I said. We didn't miss the ferry, did we? I'd feel terrible if you guys stayed behind just for little old me. You? No worries, you just made it. And most of us would have waited for you. Most, but not all. Keyword being most. I wouldn't have minded him having swim over to the island instead. You know he can't swim. Exactly. Oi. And that's the most Aussie thing I've heard all this game. Guys, look. Friday, day... what? Day one? Is there no number? Friday day. Well, it's so much nicer than I was expecting. Well, it is on an island. While I get this checked in, can you guys watch my stuff? We're not toddlers, we can handle it. 
Love you, thanks. Yep, Vanya can handle it. Wake me up when we're ready to head to the rooms. The first thing you're doing is napping? Check-in's not that long. With the cost, you better believe I'll be napping on every piece of furniture I see. Most people just breeze by resort lobbies. You know how much the management must have paid for a nice ambience, plush cushions. This is lobby luxury, and you don't get it at any motel. I'm taking advantage of every inch of this place. Lame. Once we get checked in, I want to go to the beach. I'm going to see about scuba diving. Carmen said they had instructors and you could rent gear for lessons. First thing I'm doing is checking the quality of the rooms. I want to see what stuff management cheaped out on. Yeesh, and you were making fun of my vacation plans. Hey Vani, can you help me with the help desk? They said check-in was pushed back a couple hours. On it. June, you're good watching our bags while we talk things out, yeah? Yeah nah, yeah nah? Eh? But I wanted to check out the beach. You're good to watch the bags. Bleh. Yeah, I guess. Thanks a million. Um, sure. Ugh, is it over yet? It's only been three seconds, but... I'm getting a little thirsty if you want an excuse to explore. Explore? Well, maybe not explore. I was just planning on checking out the buffet until we are officially checked in. Explore... Alright, alright, explore it is. Hell yes! Okay, bye Ryan, thanks so much for watching the luggage, you're the best, love you. Oi, who said I was watching the luggage? You're a real one, see you later. Do you think they'll get mad at me if I jump in? I don't know, we are right next to the beach. Yeah, but what if I just, like, take a little dive? Just a little, promise? Just a little, yeah. I guess that should be fine then. You then suddenly push forward. Haha! <laughs> you then suddenly push forward the fountain. You stumble a bit, and thankfully you find back your balance before you fall right in. Ack, asshole! What? I thought you wanted a dip. You punch him in the stomach as revenge. It doesn't seem like it did any damage as he continues to snicker. Probably a new hire. Yeesh, I feel bad for the guy. Vaughn treats chewing out underpaid employees like it's an art form. Anything else here? Nope. How about here? Anything else over this end here? We can't leave yet. So I guess we're going here. I'm just walking a bit and pressing enter every so often to see what's interactable. Oops. Want me to grab some drinks? The fruit fell labor after all that exploring. You reach for a cup. But... What? June. Hmm. Ryan? What? Oh, it's not Ryan. What's your problem? Mate, I need you to let go of my friend right now. You listening? Hey. Ah. Uh. The man stumbles back and rushes off somewhere else. Bloody hell. You okay? Here, use my shirt to wipe it off. Nah, it's fine, really. Wouldn't want a little drink to ruin the vacay, right? I've been meaning to shower anyway. Want me to drown that guy? You know how I feel about violence, Junzi. Still, what a dickhead. Fucking Belland. No. He better- <laughs> He better piss off somewhere far because if I see that bugger again, I'm dumping him right in the deep end and- Junzi. Sorry. Hello. Check-in is done. What's happened to you? Yeah mate, forgot to rain check or something? Some prick grabbed my wrist and when McCoy tried helping me out, he splashed the drink right on him. What a dickhead. Want me to drown that guy? That's what I said. Those stains definitely aren't going anywhere if we don't head out now and wash it off in our cabins. Let him get in the tub first before drowning anyone. No, no drowning for anyone, please. Alright, come on big guy. Oh, that's nice. The room came with drinks. Carmen reached for the drinks on the mini bar. No, 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 you do not touch the drinks. In hotels, motels, and any kind of resort facility because they charge you premium for drinking them. What? What is it? Room drinks are never as good as they cost. 
They hide prices so you don't know. And if you pick them up, they could still charge you for it. That's right. You move it, they think you've touched it, they think you've drinked it. Do not touch it. Total scam. You're no fun. What if I get thirsty for a little midnight drink? And it's too late for room service and I can't have my entire vacation ruined. What then? Well, then you might have a drinking problem. Nothing to worry about, ladies. You got your own personal mini bar right here. Ladies. Is that seriously why I'd be bothered hauling your cooler? What's with the tone? I figured you of all people would appreciate good planning. Why would we want lukewarm canned beer? The resort is its own bar. They have cocktails I want to try. But, but it's so overpriced. Okay, everything in Australia is overpriced, especially the alcohol. Uh, in my opinion, if you come to Australia to drink, I suggest you rethink your plans and go somewhere else, like maybe Indonesia. Just saying. Overpriced for you, maybe. Oi. Can't interact with anyone right now. See if I can interact with bags, Vani. There we go. Sigh. Something the matter, Vaughn? Nothing, just admiring the cleanliness of the room one last time before you two open zippers of these bags. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? It means it's about to get disgusting real quick. Oh, that must be the room with the bid. Seems like the dunny. Who uses dunny? Oh, I'm already getting cabin fever. We're meant to be outside and I feel like I've spent the entire day trapped. Hold on. Should we probably start unpacking before doing anything else, right? But I wanted to go sightseeing. I've been sitting down all day and my feet are already tired. Do we have to? The ferry comes back 11am Monday and leaves 12 sharp. I don't want anyone forgetting to pack Sunday night only for us to miss it. McCoy should really shadow first though. Aye aye ma'am. Everyone else get to work. Work on what? Vani dragged Carmen and Ryan towards their own cabin by the ears while McCoy clicked the bathroom door behind him. See, the first mistake she made was leaving me unsupervised. Bags can wait. I'm going sightseeing. M? For map? Ooh. Click to travel. Travel to cabanas. Anyway, the itch.io page said that this game is based in Australia. I don't sense it. This feels more like um, Bali, if anything else. Well, it's not Bali per se, but it feels like a trip to Bali. I don't think there's anything out here. Travel to Dark. Let's go have a look. Oh, I guess the fairy already left. You're trapped here, alone, with their friends and the randoms. Ooh, are these personally owned boats? Beautiful dames chilling out in the sea. Lar... Larde DM. I guess that's it. Let's go to the beach. So empty. I guess everyone else is busy unpacking too. No. No, this isn't normal. What I like to do is the second I get to a new place or a, a hotel room, dump all my bags and leave immediately. Like, fuck unpacking stuff, I'll come back and do that. I have all night to unpack my shit. I don't have all day to spend in the room. Shame Carmi's not here with me. She said she wanted to try the cocktails, right? She loved the vibe here. I better drag the gang in later tonight. Shoot, I think the sun's already setting. I should head back and find the others for now. Friday night. Oh! Friday day and then Friday night. I get it. Hello. Hi. I would like a drink. Something to put me out of my misery. Junebug, I was getting worried you got lost or something. Or eaten by a pack of sharks. Stop saying that. I overheard the bartender saying they roam around the island at night, eating their prey whole. Are sharks even pack animals? I don't think they're local to the area. They wait way off the shoreline for anyone brave enough to go to the deep end at night. Who's singing? Oh, it's the game. The only evidence... The only evidence left that someone was there is whatever guts washed up on shore. And there goes my appetite. Ack, stop it already, you're freaking me out. Wait, why would guts wash up if they eat their prey whole? 
Lay off it, Ray. Besides, a shark wouldn't stand a chance against me. If any of us would be at risk for being shark food, it'd be you. Just hit their nose, tilt them upside down, get rotated, idiot. Oi. I wouldn't go that far. Thank you, Vani. Maybe it's a toothpick, but shark food's pushing it. Pfft. Hehehe. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Not to be too sappy or anything, but I really needed this vacation. Of course, this has been a blast. Yeah, and uh, how's the cousin situation going lately? You married your cousin? We've mentioned something about helping her last week, right? Oh, it's pretty much wrapped up. She's doing better, thankfully. Well, I do feel bad about what happened. I mean, she did just leave her friend group. And I'm happy to be there to cheer her up, but I really needed this time to recharge after all that. Besides, everyone could tell they were dickheads. She should have ditched them a long time ago, you know. Well, here's the recharging for the rest of the vacation. This is the one that was the hardest to convince to get on board during planning. Want to repeat that? Pfft. Relax, I was just joking. Hmm. She's been spiked. Ooh, quite literally, she's been spiked. The guest was soon escorted out of the bar with support from a nearby staff member. Did... did anyone see that? Yeah, she seemed really sick. Hope she'll be okay. No, someone snuck a razor blade into her drink. No, like the thing she choked out. What was that? It almost looked like some kind of metal. What? Why would she just choke out a piece of metal? I don't know, it looked like one. I can't be the only one who saw it, right Ryan? Uh, not sure, but it did look like a heavy chunk. See? How many drinks did you two have? Maybe it's getting a little late. A lot happened today after all. I wouldn't mind ending the night a bit early as well. I was planning to do some night beach reading. Plenty of fun to be had the next two days still, right? Wouldn't want to burn ourselves at the start. But... Everyone tell us us. Someone here is trying to get us all killed. That's... Y yeah Yeah. Sounds good. Saturday, day. Oh, we can walk. No one drowning? No one getting eaten by sharks? Hmm. I guess he's just enjoying the ocean breeze. No, he's staring out somewhere. He sees something on the horizon. How about you? Talk to Carmen. How come you're not in the water? You have your suit on. Eh, I'm mostly wearing him because it looks cute. It does. What are you planning on doing instead? I was thinking about making a sandcastle or just digging a super big hole. But Vanya and McCoy seem busy so I didn't want to bother them. What about Ryan? Eh, he's being a total party pooper. He's what? Doesn't he know that's not allowed? That's a federal offense in most places. Is it? And on your birthday, no less. My birthday's in March. An offense like that requires a hefty punishment. Tats. Wanna bury him in the sand? Yes, absolutely. Hey! Anyway, he's been buried in the sand, and he's dead. Talk to Ryan. Having fun, taking up space. Very, having fun pestering anyone. You call it pestering, others would call it bonding. Not when it's coming from you. Rude. Annoying. Annoying how? Well, for one, you're interrupting me. Interrupting what? You're not even doing anything. Ugh. Sunbathing. You don't sunbathe, you burn, see? Ow, stop that. Come on, Carmen McCoy and me might want a chicken fight and we'll need a fourth person. Vani doesn't seem to be doing anything important. You and I both know she wouldn't go that deep into the water. And I would. Well, no, but you're easier to bully and peer pressure. Hey, besides, the water's so nice today. You sure you don't want to swim? I could teach you, you know. In the ocean? Not likely. But you can do me a favor and stop blocking my son. I'm trying for a hot tan. Ack, I grabbed this for you, asshole. Right, what else are we doing? Hey, wanna help me finish these drinks? Jeez, how did you end up with this many cocktails anyway? Carmen made me get them, and left you on your own to finish them? That cruel, cruel monster. Tell me about it. 
And can I tell you the best part? Oh, all of them are terrible. That's the best part? Only when I have someone else to roast them with. I've been ranking them on my own, but I need a second opinion. Here, try this one. Bleh, why is it so sweet? The description of the menu is a subtle twist on the Fruji Classic, and it tastes like they force-fed a fruit salad corn syrup. Um, yeah, let's try the next one. I'm starting to see the appeal. This one was described as a signature margarita bursting with flavor. Hmm, what the hell? It doesn't taste like anything. And get this, 30 bucks. For that? For that. It's a disgrace in the concept of bartending. It's unacceptable. It's impressive how easily I learn to love hating things when you're around. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> I haven't had this much fun since... Since... Hmm. Hey. Wait. Do you guys see that? That... That looks like an old man. Guys, I think he's... We should help him. Jots. It's too early for that. M McCoy, come on. Could you just... Me? Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? I mean, you were a lifeguard, and he looks like he's really struggling, so you- I don't know what that's got to do with now, though. He would have stopped if he thought he couldn't do it. We might get in trouble if we interrupted. Now, wait a minute. W what are you- Dot. You know what? Fine, I'll go in. Ack. Sir, please, I'm just trying to help you. Stop struggling. Press Z. If I don't press C. Let's press nothing. Let's see what happens. Nothing? Okay, fine. Press C. I thought we drown. We pull the old man back to shore. Cough, cough, eh. Ungrateful brat. Huh? Excuse me? Ungrateful. When she takes back what's rightfully hers, you'll be lucky not to be left behind. I... who... what do you... The fuck? What was his problem? Oi, you good? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Rai. That was just... really weird. He didn't hurt you, did he? No, yeah... oh, no, yeah, he didn't, he just left. I guess I'm just more so confused on why they were acting like that. Guess everyone else is also having a weird day. Saturday night. Ugh. Bloody hell, my head is killing me. I need a glass of water. Where am I going to get water from? Eh? I thought the weather was looking good for the weekend. There we go. Hmm. What the? McCoy. Hey man. Hey, can you hear me? What's gotten into you? Where'd you get that drug? McCoy, stop. Huh? Did we get punched? Hmm. Ch June. Whatever. No, I didn't. I didn't mean. Don't. Just don't. I'll be over at the other cabana. Don't wait up. What the hell is his problem? Can I go back in? I'm not dealing with this tonight. Okay, fine. It's locked. Hello, Carmi, Fawn, Ryan. Can one of you open the door, please? I really don't want to have to get another key. Come on. Guys, it's really cold out here. Guys? The front desk probably has a spare. Anything else this way? Press M. Ooh, we can go to the bar. Let's go now. No. Lobby then. We can only go to the lobby. 
Where is everyone? Sleeping? Shouldn't there be someone at the front desk? I thought this place was staffed 24-7. Uh, what's that noise? Go in. Someone gorging on the midnight snack? Vonnie. Vaughn, is that you? What are you doing here? It's like 2am. Woke up hungry and decided to get something. Yeah, I can see that. Is uh, the seafood good? What's that supposed to mean? Is there a problem with it? Am I not supposed to be here or something? What? No, not at all. I didn't mean it like that. It's your vacation, you can do what you want. Hmm. What are you doing here then? Looking for an employee, I was going to get the key to your cabana. What do you need that for? Well, I was hoping to stay the night with you guys. McCoy was acting weird and... You want to stay with us? You want to stay with us? But we've already got three people in ours. Yeah, but... Do you really have to invade our space too? Ryan's already sleeping on the couch. We barely have enough room. Couldn't you just talk it out with McCoy? Um, no. I don't think I feel safe there, sorry. Ugh, fine. You can probably just take Carmen's room anyways. But if you're here, why would I take Carmen's? Do I have to explain everything for you, June? You're an adult, and I'm clearly busy here. Right, sorry. Thanks for letting me borrow the key. Hmm. It's a mess. Carmen's not here. Where is she? C Carmen? Hmm. Are you okay? I'm fine, just feeling impatient. Where's Ryan? Uh, don't even bring up that jerk right now. Why? What do you do? I told you to drop it. Hmm. But if you really need to know. He started having a freak out so I told him to let go of some steam. At this rate, she'll never take him back. What? Who won't take him back? Uh, are you gonna freak out on me too? But I... Just shut up. I don't want any more attitude tonight. Either sleep it off or go away. Is there a sea goddess somewhere? Because the old man was willing to offer himself to the uh, to the sea. So maybe there's a... There's a god out there. God. If you need anything, feel free to let me know. Maybe I should just sleep it off. Sleep where though? All of their drinks, too. It'll sort itself out in the morning. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to... Sunday day. Ah. Uh. That's... Um, morning. Hmm. It's only been a night. Why is the cabana this damaged already? I need to find the others. Water logging? Huh? Carmen's not inside. Oh, you're dead. Carmen. What are you doing out here? You're gonna get soaked. Carmen, are you listening to me? Are you even awake? Go away. Stop annoying me. Can you not take a hint? I'm busy. That. Praying to who? McCoy, I'm back. McCoy? Where did he go? Oh, it's leaking. The cabanas are leaking. Open map. Lobby? Let's check one by one. They're still conscious. Hmm. 
There isn't even any food on her table. It's just broken bits of silverware and hardware. There's a few screws covered in bile. Hey there. Funny, were you here the whole night? Are you okay? I... Ugh. If you're feeling sick, you should stop. Come on. No, let go of me. I need this. Hmm? I don't want you to lose me. I need to give the fish back. What are you talking about? You're not making any sense. So there's probably a sea entity out there. Why are they all standing out in the rain like that? They're waiting for the sea entity to embrace them. Oh, sorry, we've been to the cabanas. Let's go to the docks. Not leaving yet. Beach. Ah, McCoy. What are you doing out here? It's pouring. She's almost here. What do you mean? I'm already here. Dots. Come inside. It's dangerous to be by the waters right now. I don't want you getting swept up. That's fine. I'll stay out here. I... Look, is this about last night? Yeah, because McCoy is supposed to be pacifist, right? He doesn't like violence or beat people. I know it was an accident. I'm sorry I yelled. Give it some time. Alright, I'll... I'll give you some time. Who else is out here? Bar. The entire resort's falling apart. That guy seems to be fine. There's someone lying in the back over there. See their feet? Hey, 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 over here. Hmm? Ryan, where the hell have you been? June, something bad's happening. Yes. Yes, finally, thank you. Someone is actually making sense. I thought I was losing my goddamn mind. So you've noticed too. How weird everyone's acting, right? Yeah. And how the resort is falling apart and the weather is going crazy and everyone on the island is unresponsive. Oh. I just saw that my cooler was empty. I hadn't noticed those yet. That's all it took for you to start questioning things? Well, everything was empty. The minibar, the fridge, the cooler, they drank all of it. I was mad at first, but then I started getting worried that they could be sick or could have OD'd or something. I didn't know where Vani went, but I heard Carmen coughing in the dunny. Shit, was she okay? Well, that's the thing. When I asked what was wrong, she seemed sober. She wasn't slurring her words. She didn't have any trouble seeing straight or walking. She was acting perfectly fine, physically anyways. Are you sure she drank anything? Well, it could have just been Vani. And Carmen kept dismissing me and talking about how thirsty she was. She even tried drinking from the faucet. Wait, same here. I heard some loud gurgling noise outside my room. Turns out McCoy had dried a water jug from God knows where. The mini bar was empty too. When I went to check on him and make him stop, he got really aggressive. Yeah, exactly. I asked if she was okay and said we should get her to a medic. But she started screaming at me to get out and leave her alone. I left to go find Vani, but... But... If I answer honestly, will you promise not to get mad? Ryan. With how everyone was acting, I kinda assumed it was a zombie apocalypse situation. Ryan. If you watched as many zombie flicks as I have, you know the responsible thing to do in this situation would be to isolate myself from the possible threat. Dude. I did end up finding Vani, but when I saw her at the buffet, I... I ran. I mean, that wasn't her. Wasn't it? I... I don't know. Besides, even in the event it's not a zombie thing, do you really think it's the best idea to be messing with them? We don't know what's causing them to act like that. What if it's contagious? Or, I don't know, something's in the water. That's... That's fair, something is in the water. I want to get them back to normal and off the island as much as you do. But I don't know if trying to interact with them on their level is the play. At least, not until we're sure we're talking to the same people we came here with. Ah, <sighs> you're right. Whoa, that's a first. We should get somewhere safer and regroup. Ryan making sense. 
Slow down, I'm still reeling from you agreeing with me. I don't want to leave everyone here though. We can snag one of the boats, force them on and drive back to the mainland to get help from the rest of the resort. You know how to drive a pontoon, right? No. Fuck, same here. A license for a car is probably close enough. Alright then, lead the way. Have all the boats been sunk? Hmm. The boat's ruined all over. What the hell? Sabotage. Is the rain really that bad? Maybe. But it doesn't look like storm damage. But what about the ferry? Someone's gotta... Jun Hei. Someone's gotta come for us, right? We can still. I can. I I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Sorry, I'm just... What do we do? Come on, we're not supposed to cry now. We're on vacation. You of any of us should know that. We never did very well with the tour guide anyways. We'll figure it out as we go, yeah? Hmm. Y yeah. Yeah. Had a girl. You mentioned something about the ferry, right? Right, the ferry. What did Vaughn say the ferry comes back on? Monday. What if I say something wrong? Let's get it right first, Monday. I think it was Monday. Yeah, Monday. So all we have to do is wait out one more night. Tomorrow morning we'll grab Vaughn, Carmi and McCoy. And and whoever we can get them to the boat. Right, then they'll be able to radio for help. See, knew you'd figure something out. I just hope the island can survive by then. If it doesn't, then this business was doomed to begin with. We really shouldn't have cheaped out and booked that hotel Carmen recommended instead. Hey, now to be fair, they did have a good deal here. And now we know why. But in any case, we shouldn't stay out in the rain for so long. Come on, maybe my cabana is still safe enough to pass the night. Sunday night. Yay. Tuts. Ryan. Hmm. I can't sleep. Are you worried about the plan? It's just, we're not. I don't want to be left behind. Well, yeah, that's why we're waking up before the ferry gets here, isn't it? Not the fairy, it's just... We're not the weird ones, right? June, someone was trying to swim in a 10 centimeter fountain. You're fine. Well, yeah, but... I know what they're doing is weird and doesn't make sense. But what if they know something we don't? What if we're the ones that are wrong? Fair assumption. I don't want to regret losing them. And then losing ourselves. I don't want them to do something stupid while I'm not looking or be left here to rot. But I'd regret it even more if I lost them if I had the chance to stay. You said McCoy got aggressive with you when you tried talking to him, right? Y yeah How about Carmen? Was she as open as she usually is? N no Vaughn? Was what she was doing okay to you? But, but what about... They're the ones cutting you out and pushing you away, June. You tried your best to talk to them. And we should still get the hell away from this island if we can. But if what they're doing would cause them to hurt you, then that's not normal. I'd rather leave them behind than stick around with people that think treating a friend like that is okay. Hmm, hold on, wait a minute. Are you trying to entwine friendship issues with sea entities? The idea that them potentially being brainwashed and worshipping a god in the sea is related to how they treat their friends and that if we were to string a friendship lens or a relationship lens that their belief in the sea goddess and their worship to a sea goddess causes them to push away their friends i find this very kind of a weird take to be honest i don't see how instability as in well i don't see how brainwashing is the same as a able-minded friend who is pushing you away. I think they're just crazy. 
and because that they're crazy, they are pushing away their friends. I mean, right? See what I'm trying to get with here? Anyway, I'd rather leave them behind and stick around with people that think treating a friend like that is okay. But they're not conscious, and I mean they're not fully lucid and aware of what they're doing. They've been kind of taken over by some sort of entity. That, well, we'll do what we can to bring as many people as possible back, obviously. We're going to help them. But I doubt they want us to be dragged down with them if they refuse. Okay, I trust you. And what if we don't? Dot. Sleep tight, tune. We'll get them home, I'm sure of it. Night Ray. Is it Rye or is it Ray? Like Rye Bread. R-Y-E. Ooh, save. He's gonna turn. Oh, he's turned. Tots. Ryan. Monday. Monday day? Ryan. Ryan, Carmen, Vaughn. McCoy. McCoy, you're... McCoy, 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 don't go in there. Hey, listen to me. I don't know what's gotten into you or why you're asking like this, but you need to listen. Please, I, I just... Knowing this author, there's probably some sort of moral story behind all of this. But anyway, I just want my friends back. Dots. Don't. No. Dots. Ryan. Ooh, let's follow. Uh-huh, the opening, I guess, screen has changed. New game. Okay, that's fine. Nothing's happening. Let's continue. Let's get that other ending. Go back. Did we get him? Okay, so she lives. And she doesn't get to go with her friends. I'm trying to pick apart what the meaning of this game is. And if there's a deeper story besides. Oh, let's all walk into the ocean and sacrifice ourselves. Let's see if the ending screen is different. Nope. Okay. I don't understand the story. It could be as simple as everyone is affected by a mass hysteria. There's some sort of sea god out there that 
is persuading everyone to offer themselves a sacrifice to it. And as a result, they, I guess if you spin it into the friendship point of view, they all shun June because June isn't swayed by this entity's, I don't know, brainwashing. The story could be as simple as that. But I'm not too sure as if there's anything deeper than this. And I'm just going to assume for now that that's it, because I don't see any hints to anything more. There were these characters being spiked, so the lady spiked at the bar had a razor in her drink. I don't know what's that got to do with anything. At first I thought it would be some kind of murder mystery related thing, where one of your friends or all of your friends can't be trusted because they're all psychopaths or something. But as it turns out, maybe everyone is affected by the mass hysteria and everyone's a psychopath. So I don't really understand the story this time around. That's all I have to say. My name's Mayhem Star, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.